Is American and the Iran relation affected already? But we are people, we are not the government. We are not doing nothing. If the government do something wrong with this government, we are not responsible by an American and Iranian. What they can do? identify myself as an Iranian who doesn't have any specific religion. When I was around 10 to 15 years old, I started asking questions like the difference between my parents' thoughts and the system thoughts. So this contrast made me think about why we are forcing to learn this at the school at a neighborhood in the streets you know whenever we go we would encounter radical thoughts when you're at a school you have to follow some rules uh, the basic thing is you have to pray it's mandatory you go to pray at a specific times so i wouldn't see that at home but I would at the school every day as a regular basis. In the morning, first thing we would do at the school was like get to the lines and shout out to the leader of Islamic government, things like that. Everybody would say that, but this wasn't the thing that we would like believe in our, ourselves, in our thoughts, but we were forced to say that. And the other thing is like, wherever we go, uh, we would see the picture of the leaders hanging on the walls, but we didn't see them at home. We did have a Quran, we did have uh, like notes, you know, like poems or like uh, things that were written in Arabic, but that didn't mean like we were against them or with them, we just uh, have them as a tradition. Like we have a Quran next to that, we have a book of Hafiz, which is a poetry book. So this was kind of more tradition than a religious thought. We're out of control. We have no idea who's coming into our country. We have no idea if they love us or if they hate us. We have no idea if they want to bomb us. We have no idea what's going on. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. And this is the protection of the nation from foreign terrorist entry into the United States. According to the U.S. officials, Homeland Security and the Department of the Immigration, there has been no terrorist attack by Iranians in the history of the U.S. Why can't he say radical Islamic terrorism? Every Muslim is a terrorist, period. Right now. Shut your mouth. Yes, I don't want to hear your mouth. Oh, please. I'm done with you. An Arab motherfucker, terrorist, stuck Trump is president, so you can kiss your fucking Goodbye, I mean, can you imagine we're defending Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia, if it weren't for us, they wouldn't be there. They wouldn't exist. These are people that push gays off business, off buildings. These are people that kill women and treat women horribly. And yet you take their money. When after Iraq, they did not knock down the World Trade Center. Okay. Who blew up the World Trade Center? It wasn't the Iraqis, it was Saudi. I mean, take a look at Saudi Arabia. We will be sure to help our Saudi friends. Our goal is a coalition of nations who share the aim of stamping out extremism.
crimes against American Muslims has increased nearly 80 percent since 2015. Law enforcement and hate crime scholars have also documented hundreds of attacks. It's just burned from all around, but still, the, the Quran is still inside saved. The world is being saved. People from the countries that caused 9-11 are coming to this country. 100% of the visa application from Saudi Arabia citizens get approved and granted a visa to visit the U.S. Surveillance video shows a suspect punching, kicking, and stomping on a Muslim teenager in Brooklyn, New York. The beating took place outside a mosque during a midnight prayer service. The majority of Iranians who have come to the U.S. are not the Muslims. They are Jews, they are Baha'is, and also Muslims. But there is a difference between the Iranians that have ties with the government and just regular people. But what is important to me is to make an understanding of who is coming here, which U.S. have been doing that for a long time to FBI check. They don't let people who have ties with the government come in. They reject them in the first place. And the other thing is, not all the people who are coming from Iran are Muslims. The asylum seekers whose life are in danger in the country, the refugees, you know. This is very important to understand, like, who is coming and why they're coming. U.S. had this power to filter those that they think they they're not good. Is American and Iran relation affected already? But we are people, we are not the government. We are not doing nothing. If the government do something wrong with this government, we are not responsible by an American and Iranian. What they can do? Why I have to be punished for the somebody else's problem? I'm a US citizen about 15, 20 years old, yes. And my brother is I didn't do nothing wrong in no place in the world. And I didn't do nothing wrong. I'm working hard here. I'm building a house for the people, the American people. And I'm American too. Most of Iranian, almost 99.9% are not really terrorists or attached to anything that government of Iran is doing. Iranian people have always been known for hospitality, for caring for their fellow uh, world citizen. Uh, if you go to the United Nations, you will see the famous po poetry from Saadi that says, Bani Adam Azai Ektigarand, Kedar Afarinesh Zayek Goharand. My two sister in laws, the, they've been waiting for more than a year and their visa cases almost are done, uh, but we cannot process their case to the visa interview because we know for a fact that they're gonna be denied. Uh, that I cannot consider U.S. home anymore. I mean, home for me is a country that I feel safe and comfortable and secure and feel welcomed. And I cannot also go back to my home country Iran because of being a political activist and human rights activist. My fiance is all the way in Iran. I'm over here. I've seen it. We've seen each other four times in the past 10 months. I travel either to Istanbul or to the United Emirates to go visit her. Duration of five days to 10 days. We see each other and every couple of months and I come back. But eventually that, that can't keep on happening like that. You know, we, you're trying to establish a life together and, um, I do want her to be out here with me. Being an Iranian and being a U.S. citizen here, which I'm so proud of, I love America. <laughs> I love living here as much as I love Iran. But unfortunately, I can't get married in Iran with him. Um, but hearing the travel ban and knowing that I'm a U.S. citizen and I can't do anything for my fiancé is hard. I thank my parents for their love and their support. 
They always wished to see me graduate from law school, but they couldn't make it today due to the travel ban. In these five years, I was really hopeful. I was really trying to make a better life so I can live with my mom again here and all of us can have a better future. But now it happened and everything is wrong. What does that say? Uh, refugees welcome in Farsi. The United States Supreme Court is allowing the Trump administration to enforce the latest version of the president's travel ban. This means President Trump will now be able to stop people from six mostly Muslim countries from entering the United States, even if they have ties to the U.S. You accept this order, you're giving the president a power no president in a hundred years has exercised. This is not a so-called Muslim ban. If it were, it would be the most ineffective Muslim ban that one could possibly imagine. Uh, let's say in some future time, uh, a, a president gets elected who is a a vehement anti-Semite. What emerges is a proclamation that says no one shall enter from Israel. 